Okay, I did a quick search. They don't appear to be worth a lot, but if this is turquoise, I think that this would be on a higher scale. It would just take a lot to repair it. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. What do you guys think? We have some little... Oh, here's the other earring for this one. Nice. Are those marked? No. Those are nice. I can't wear them. I can't pull that off. But little brooch there. This is heavy. This reminds me of... Is it Zara? Um, those are glass. These are plastic. Those may be glass. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this will probably go into a lot. Just put it in there. Okay, oh, we have this one and a rubber band. This will go into a lot. Those are so pretty, though. Pretty, pretty. This, unfortunately, is broken. Very magnetic, so that will go into a lot. Ooh, what do we have here? Uh, uh, we've got two earrings married to each other here. Oh, and that's coming apart. Yeah, see, it was wrapped up, and... That's come off, so. Okay, what do we have here? These two pieces just do not match. These are real stones. Um, they do not appear to be howlite. This one says, huh, let's see, this just does not go with this at all. That will go into a beadlock. Some kind of necklace here that's broken. It was by Claire's. That will go to a lot. Okay, th this is adorable. I don't understand the strawberry here, but these are little bugs, and they are so cute. That's adorbs. That's so cute. That is adorable. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. Okay, so here we have... It, that looks like turquoise, but it's not. Yeah. Oh, oh, darn. Yeah, it's in really rough shape. But it's very pretty. You know, I don't know if it would clean up or not, but the designs on it are lovely. Okay. We have a stretch ring. Another faux turquoise necklace here. Missing a stone. I can see that right off the bat. So this will probably go into a lot. I don't see any marks or anything on it, so. All right, what do we got here? 
this feels like resin to me. Not bone. Not. It, it does appear to be vintage, but it looks like it's resin. It's quite lovely though. It's got this butterfly and it looks like a flower design. Yeah. And it's mold. It's a mold. It's not free, you know, it's not hand designed or anything. So that'll go into a lot. Uh, this is a vintage inspired piece. Uh, it looks like, I don't know what they've done there, but it's just plastic. That will go to a lot. So anyway, let me go back to my story. I was telling you about me and my sister. Anyway, my she was smart enough to bring a, it was all her idea, and I just went for the fun. Um, but I took stuff to sell. But um, She was smart enough to bring a tarp, which fit over both of our canopies. That's cute. Is there a signature on that? Nope. Sorry. If I made you yawn. But anyway, Tara did really, really, really well. Um, and I did okay. So, but more importantly, we had a lot of fun together. That's really cute for a kid, but I think I'm going to put that into a lot. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, this appears to be vintage. Uh, different for sure. Oh, it is marked. This is also Florenza. Is it missing some stones? It is. Well, darn it. Those would be very easy to replace, though. Those are just little um, seed pearls. Faux seed pearls. Those would be easy, too. But, again, I, I just don't know if I will or not. We have a very long earring here. Set that to the side. Another necklace here. It looks like that the oh we do have a mark uh, what does that say T I don't know what it says, but it says something. So my guess is well my guess is that this that it broke at some point. Do this even match? I think it must have been fixed at some point. Let's do this. You see what I'm saying? This is, I think this is the addition. Let's see if there's anything on here. Uh, it's super dirty, so I really can't see. And the clasp is broken. So you can't undo the clasp. Hold on. I don't know, peeps. I don't know. But it has been repaired. And I can... UA... Let me see... U A something. U looks like a T sideways. U A I 
I don't know. But I think that's gold. Let's test it, shall we? We'll go close to the edge where it was rep repaired. Can you imagine if we found another gold? I mean, I would, I'm just already in awe that we found one. Okay. We'll let that sit for a second. And there's another earring, but we're throwing those out because they're just baked. Okay, so that is not gold there. So let's do the other one, the other side. it is but we'll test it do, 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 do. nope it is not so now I'm just super curious about the whole thing why would you repair something like this I mean it could have had sentimental value of course but unless it was gold why would you repair it Let's test it for silver. Okay, let's test this one for silver over here. And it will turn red if it is silver. And it is not. So it's not gold or silver that I can see. So why fix it? I'm per I'm flummoxed here. I'm perplexed. Hmm. Oh well. I still think there's something about this, and I really wish I could see what that says. I know you guys are like moving on, move on, move on. We don't really care anymore. Just move on. It's definitely something, it almost looks like Italy, but it spelled wrong. Okay. What else we got here? We have a very, very tangled necklace that I'm going to put in a beadlock. Uh, this is pretty. Wow. Oops, excuse me, burp. That's pretty. Uh, it's, it's, I'm sure, glass. If that. I don't, it's not real warm to the touch. It's warm to the touch, I should say. Yeah, I think that's plastic. But very pretty. That'll go into a beadlock then. All right, probably someone asking me about my car warranty. Okay. This is a vintage or vintage inspired brooch or pendant. It is not silver and that stone is not a real stone. It's just not set right. It's crooked and if it were a real stone it would be set with more prongs. You see how that moved? With more prongs. So that's just for looks. Um, let's see what's in here. Ooh, the beads on this are fabulous. 
Oh, it's it's magnetic. Okay. That's beautiful. The beads on here are beautiful. I love that. Look at how pretty that is. Reminds me of lace. That's so pretty. I'm going to put that on. Let's see if I can manage it. It goes with my my um, new ruby ring. Um, okay, kind of a simple fashion with faux pearls, kind of a grungy look, you know. Let's see what we have here. So. It says, soul, spirit, search, faith, harmony, hope, balance, peace, soul, love, endure, dream, trust, and inspire. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a nice paint. It needs cleaned. Desperately needs cleaned. Which most of these things do, but... Um... I don't even know what to say about this. Honestly, if you take this off, it's not that bad. But when you put these on, it's just, it's all plastic. Yeah, I just, no marks or anything that I can see. It's just a plastic fashion piece. That will go into a lot. Alright, we've got some bangles here. Bangle, bangle, bangle. That's actually really pretty. But it's very tarnished. We have a $1.00. Susan B. Anthony, 1979. Uh, oh, it's in my lap. Oh. Well. Oh, that came right off. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know what to say about that. Emoji necklace. This looks like it's a fraternal order piece, fraternal order organization. It's got a clock, a deer and a clock. Let me take the back off and see if there's anything on the back. And there is nada. So I don't know what this is. I don't know if you can see it or not. Huh. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what this was, but it's no more. I don't know. Interesting. What does it say? See where I was looking at earlier. There's no clasp or anything. What gives with that? Hmm. Me doesn't know. Okay. We have a Forever 21. Piece that will go to a lot. Oh my goodness, what we got here. This is just hideous. Sorry if I'm if you guys like that. I just think it's absolutely hideous. I just don't even know what to say except for goodbye. 
Uh, we've got a couple of these in here, so those will go out. Uh, this is actually kind of pretty. These are meant to look like Baroque pearls. I don't think they are. That is very, very fragile. Uh, very fragile. Uh, I don't see anything. Anyway, going back to... Um, I'm going to research this a little bit. It's not magnetic. So that sale I was talking about was actually a two-day sale. So we went back the next day and it was it was late Memorial Day weekend and it was so cold. We ended up leaving early because Tara got super chilly. Um, this is really pretty. I don't know if it's, I mean obviously it's religious in, in intent, but I don't know if it's vintage. I don't know if it's gold. I don't, it's not marked that I can see. I'm pretty sure that those are not real pearls. And I don't think those are real stones. Although they are super cold to the touch. I don't know. I'm going to have to research this, folks. So anyway, we, we ended up leaving early the day, the next day. Venezia. Venice. It's a souvenir piece. Venezia. Venezia. Okay. Uh, another piece there. Oh, he's kind of cute. We have... I think this is an ankle bracelet. Maybe not. But a little cat with, with sunglasses on. He's so cool. He's got to wear shades. Uh, this is Claire's, I'll bet. Yep. So that would go into... You know, some of those little seed pearls would be excellent for that um, necklace. Because they're small enough. Hmm. Okay, what do we got here? Some kind of emperor on a very, very, very heavy chain. I'm not seeing a clasp anywhere. And it's definitely not precious. Same here. there. Now I will look these over for marks because if they are vintage, you know, Monet or Sarah Coventry, some of those can be, you know, worth it. Okay, what do we have here? Very large, um, what do you call it? I think this is made well. No, it doesn't say. Look like an M in there. Yeah, I think theirs are past their prime, aren't they? And we found earring. Oh, that's in terrible shape. That's going into the trash. And then we found this one here. All right, let's trash that other one. All right, let's see what else we got in here. any marks or anything on this one so but it is a nice chain so I'll probably hold on to that oh that's pretty oh there's so many stones missing oh that's so sad uh, I don't 
don't see a mark or anything on it, so it'll go into a lot, but boy, that's pretty. All right, here we have one of those, um, um, what do you call them, belt, belt bangles. That's not, it's not in horrible shape, but it's not in great shape, so that'll go into a lot. Here we have another souvenir piece, and I don't even know what to say about it. I don't know if it's Mayan or if it's supposed to be Aztec, Incan. I, I have no clue. Bangle, and we have a little Claire's bracelet, stretch bracelet, another Claire's bracelet. There's some more of those beads I could possibly use. A broken one. Here's a stretch one again. Bangle. Stretch bracelet again. Those will go into a lot. I actually do like this. I don't see a mark on it anywhere. It does appear to be pretty beat up, but I will say this. If I can find it, I'll... So, I don't know if this would clean it or not. This is a suede eraser. Uh, I can't tell, can you? I can't tell if it did anything or not. If I'm not using this right, please tell me. Let's do that middle one and see what it looks like afterwards. I don't think it did any good, do you? I do like the necklace. I like it. Me likes it. This is definitely going into a beadlot. All right, we're getting down to nitty gritty here, so I'm gonna try and pull some of this stuff out. out of the way. What's this? Is this Monet? I think it is. Oh. Wait, am I missing something here? I could have swore I just saw a tag. That's missing one of its pieces of glass and it's broken. I could have swore. Oh, there. That's it. It is broken and uh, that is Monet. No. Napier? Nana. I have no idea who that is. <sighs> no clue. Okay. Looks like a um what do you call it? Souvenir piece. Where did my there it is. Okay. We have a love earring here. Uh, we have a pretty pendant here. It is not authentic and it's missing two of its stones, three of its stones, so that will go into a lot. I don't know what that is. We have another missing piece to that whatever it was. I have no idea what that was. Oh, here's another missing piece. Uh, bangle. Uh, 
That's Sarah Coventry, but it's missing a stone. If we find it, maybe I'll try to repair it. I don't know. Don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. Anybody? Take a stab at it. Take a guess. I don't know. Another earring. I'm gonna guess it's not silver. Nope. Another earring. That's actually really pretty. Hold on. That is really, really pretty. It's also very, very dirty. But it's really pretty. I like that. Okay, I don't know what these are. They're going in there. You can hear the kids and the girls in the background. My husband is probably eating. So they're wanting to, some of the chow. That's a pretty pendant, but oh, there's some more of that Nana piece. More. There's an earring, earring, earring. Bobby pin, earring. Oh, here's some of those stones from that. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. All right, now I have to be super duper careful. There's another one. These teeny, teeny little stones have, have, are the ones that have come off those pieces. Um, I'm going to push all these up. There's a grandma brooch. There's an earring. That's very pretty, though. That's another pretty one. Really pretty. Let's take that put it over there. That goes to the Sarah Coventry piece. Uh, this is modern toggle. I actually have a Ralph Lauren. Actually, I think I have one on in silver. Um, this does not look like it has a maker's mark on it. Let me look on the end here. Nope. So, I don't know about that. I'm not sure. Okay, we found the match to that, but I mean, they're not valuable, I don't think. So, we'll put those over there. Here's a bracelet. Uh, it is also missing some pieces. We'll see if we can't find them. Uh, locket. Is it supposed to play music? And is that the real couple? That looks like a stock photo to me. I think that's stock. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. There's a set of earrings. Here's the one to match this one. Those are really lovely. Very lovely. There's one there. Here's an earring. Here's a charm or a pendant. That's gross. It's going in the trash. Uh, earring. Oh, what's this? A little bead. I'm collecting all the beads. Uh, this is one of those, you know, kind of nugget, herringbone nugget necklaces. I don't see any maker's mark on it. Uh, there's the match to that gold earring, so I'll put that there. Okay, let me put all this. Oh, that goes to that pendant. Must have been a bumpy ride. Uh, this is just an, a gold tone, gold tone with this little ena you know enameled wear on it huh but it's not magnetic interesting now what is
is this? And what is this? All done here, folks. What does that say? Uh, nothing. It says absolutely nothing that I can see. None of it is, this is magnetic. This is missing some stones too, I think, right there, right there, and right there. I don't think the chain and the necklace go together. We have a sailor's brooch. We have, this is actually really pretty. This reminds me of one we had recently. I like it. I like it a lot. Here's another nautical brooch. Oh. Is that that earring I had earlier? No. Bummer. Oh, we have another brooch. Hold on. This is, almost looks like they should open, but they don't. Okay. Hmm. A earring, cheap ring, an earring. I don't know what that's to. Ooh, that's pretty. I bet that goes with that one necklace we saw right off the bat. Oh, look, we have the matching earring here. Those are so pretty. I love them. Love, love, love. Okay, move all those out of the way. Um, okay, so that's not silver. Some of these I'm going to clean up and just see what they say because some of them I cannot read. That's not anything. Okay, now we have two crucifix. Look like the exact same type. They are marked Italy. I may have to check on my husband. It sounds like he's choking. I'll check on these. They've got some green stuff on them, so I don't know what that means. I think there was... I think there was another set of earrings here. I think that other love that we saw... Here it is. Went with that, and then there was another kitty cat, but I don't see the other kitty cat yet. Oh, these match. Yay! Do this, are those marked? No, not that I can see. Oh, this matches something we had. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Huh. All right, we have another earring. It almost looks like it went to that one necklace we had. Oh, we have a match here. Hold on. There's a match. Okay. Um, this is looks like I really wish those did the I think those go together. I think those were supposed to go together. I could be wrong, but I think so. Last thing we have here is it looks broken scarab bracelet. This is really pretty. Um, they are cold. This one isn't. Uh, it looks like one. This looks like it broke. Let's take a look and see if it's vintage for sure. No, I'm not seeing anything. Hold on. Oh, yes, we are. Ten carat gold, folks. Ten carat gold on this one. Scarab bracelet. Looks like we would have had a matching one here to this one, but it's broken off. 
but we have 10 karat gold. That's how we're going to end this box. I can't complain about that. Well, that's it for another episode of Wild and Wonderful Vintage and More Good Stuff. Sorry the dogs are barking in the background. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Um, if you're an artisan or a seller, drop your social media links and contact information below if you wish. Resellers and artisans only, please. And thanks again for joining us, uh, for building up this community. And we'll see you next time.